Hey guys. So I'm going on a deer hunt this evening. It's uh it's raining. I got off work. Got off a little early because it was raining. So I raced home, made a little video, and uh, I had to winterize the camper that we didn't even get a chance to use because the campground screwed us and didn't save our spot, but that's a whole nother ordeal of me taking the shaft like usual. So I'm going to head out to a spot where I've had good luck in the past. I got a lock on here. And uh, yeah, dude, the, we got some freaking rain coming in. I'm going anyway. I don't even care. If I don't go, that's another day that's missed during the 2022 hunting season. And I can't be having that. I don't even like have. I don't even like missing one day. Like I want to go every morning and evening. You know what I mean? guys i just freaking raced home dude we got two hours before dark it's really windy we're doing a we're doing a, a little uh family hunt here if a big doe comes in i'm shooting her if a if a little doe comes in vesper is going to try to get her with her big girl bow and if a big buck or a little buck comes in axel is going to shoot his first buck with the crossbow so that's the plan. Hi, cows. We're about ready to take off walking.
another morning hunt down. Just had the little buck come through. That's a squirrel down there. Yeah. So I'm gonna get ready to pack it up. We're gonna go after him tonight. So we're about to end the morning hunt. I was taking my tree lounge off the tree and my brother called me and he was down at the other end of the field and he could see that there were five does headed my way. So I grabbed my bow, I got up against this big oak tree and my GoPro that I would put on my head, I couldn't get it to work. So I was at 7% battery with this one on the ground right here. and. That's all I had, which you'll see what I'm about to do with it. And I made it work, except for you're going to see that tree right there with the sun hitting. That thing got in the way of the shot, but you'll get to see most of the action. There were three does in front of me, a button buck 10 yards behind me, and what deer came in to the right that the big doe in the middle was looking at. And a couple times I thought she had me, but she didn't look hard enough. I was putting up my tree lounge. My head, my one on my my GoPro on my head's dead, dude. I set this camera on my leg. I had you balancing on my knee, and I just blistered that dude. I hit right where I was looking. I see some more down there too. My brother came down to meet me, and these two yearlings were creeping up on us. They were feeding on acorns and hanging around us for a while. I got the blood trail. I thought I saw her fall like 200 yards up here. We're gonna get on it. this yearling deer following us. <laughs> this is nuts. She's back there about 20 yards. Yeah, I've never had my broadhead unscrew. I see her up here. There's been, there's been blood all over the place. We're going to be real quiet getting her out until we get her to the trail because this place is Looking pretty good. There's some buck sign. 
truck out. We're going to try to be quiet here because this is a good spot. Save the heart and the liver. Never found my broadhead. Just have to donate one. All right, we've we've made it back home. I just hung the beast up. Here, let me grab a light. I'll show you. The I'm pretty sure when I shot, she it was quarter and hard. She ducked. She's tried to duck me. There's that arrow going in. Of course, the hides rolled forward. That's what eliminates some of your guys' blood trails. You pull that hide back, see that? Like there's the hole. See how far that hide moves? That's why you don't have blood trails sometimes. It ain't because of the broadhead, it's because animals do animal things. So there's my hole right there. It just went in, dead center lungs. And I couldn't find the broadhead. So I'm going to end this here. Thanks for watching. I have 2% battery on this camera left. So, so that's what's going on. And I'm going to get the beast ready to go again. The old Oneida. We'll see you on the next big hunt.